One of our big games is this one. It's called The Settlers of Catan. It's a very popular game. It's been out for about 18 years in the U.S. And uh, it is a game that's international, so people all over the world play it. And here, we're actually going to do a tournament where the winner gets to move on to a, a second tournament. The winner of that, basically, we have a world championship for this game that happens in Berlin, Germany, later next year. So the person who wins the tournament here has a chance to maybe go on and play in Germany. So, very cool. Okay. What agents do you recommend this? Well, on our box, we always put the age range of a game. So if you look at the box, it says it's for 10 and up. I'm going to tell you a little secret about the way that the, we put ages on here. Okay? When we talk about an age, when we put an age on a game, it's basically an age that says if you were to pick up this rule book all by yourself and read through it, and then play it with just your, and play it with your friends, we think that a ten-year-old could probably do that with their ten-year-old friends. But a lot of times, what happens is, for example, if your parents were to pick up the game and read the rule book and then teach it to you. We have people that are seven and eight year olds that have no problem playing this game. A lot of times when you have an age, you should never think, I, oh, I can't, if I'm younger than that, I can't play that game. And all that means is that sometimes it may be a little harder for you to learn the rules or you may need someone to teach you the rules. But even though this says 10 and up, seven year olds, eight year olds, a lot of different age people can play game. Younger kids have no problem playing this game. Excuse me? Why don't you buy, buy our product? Well, it's a game that a lot of people buy. One of the things they really like about this game that's different from a lot of other games is that you can do something on every single player's turn. So what happens is, is during the game, you will have resources. So for example, this, this area produces wood. And these number chips tell you when they're produced, for example, if we rolled an eight, this area would produce wood. It would produce a wood resource, which is a car. Now, it doesn't matter who's building, so you could have a building on this X, I could have a building on the X. You rolled an eight, we would both get something on your turn. And perhaps you need wood, because wood you need to build roads or to build buildings in this game. So you can actually negotiate with us on your turn, saying, hey, I have this extra grain, I need wood, would you trade with me? And you can trade with me, or you can trade with her. So it's a game that even though people take turns, you can always be doing things on other players' turns. So it's a great game that you're always doing something, you always have a chance to do something, even if it's not your turn. Hi, thank you for your time. You're very welcome.